all on. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Some of that royalty. Yeah, y'all. Before we get into this video, this is what I need y'all to do. To all the people that saying Nick go live, Nick go live, Nick go live. I'm always live. If y'all can see the what the goddamn hair, yeah, the sub the goddamn hair, yeah, that's what you do. Go to twitch.tv.com. Go to my channel, uh, which is Royalties World CEO. Hit my profile and simply follow me. You will see when I'm live. Yeah, day. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you league. So this will be a part two, and it will be on my main channel, at Royalties World, um, for those who don't be knowing. Um, so, yeah, make sure you go over there. Uh, but we about to get into this video. I appreciate those that are tuned in all the time, making sure. You know what I'm saying? You tapped into my content, man. I just want to say I appreciate y'all. Hell, I appreciate all the people that let me react to them. I try my best to respect everybody's boundaries. Throw a little joke in there and keep it moving. You dig know what I'm saying? So once again, I'm a Christian too. Just wanted y'all to know that. But all right, let's get into this video. It's Messy Monday. It is. I'm going to go ahead and grab a beer out the refrigerator during the, uh, the intro. It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. POP, you can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get. Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? All right, you guys, we made it through another week. Now, I know I missed last week and I am so sorry. I had my microphone on. Let me show you. So when you plug this in and you don't cut it on, you can still record, but it's gonna be muted because it's looking for the sound outlet and input and child, I didn't have it all. But a bitch is back this week and we ready to go. So if Fair. you made it through this week, I congratulate you because child, it is so hard in today's time. Dealing with mental health, dealing with stress, dealing with people, dealing with jobs, dealing with all these viruses. Child, if you hear, God bless you or whatever hello. higher power you believe in. Do you hear me? Hello. Somebody, can I get an amen? Oh, amen. Right. I'm Hallelujah. Not, I'm not, oh, before I start, I want to give a shout out to my friend, and that is Lady White. Hey, bitch. Now, Lady White, I randomly picked you. I just went to my Twitter. I scrolled. You follow me, and baby, I'm just giving you a shout out for being a loyal supporter. I greatly appreciate that. Without you guys, I would not be where I am today. So I try to make sure on Mondays I give y'all special shout outs for the people who, you know, either have my post notifications on or just I randomly pick you. And today, it fell on you, boo. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm taking the time out to show you my appreciation because, bitch, you are my friend. Hey, bitch. All right. Um, it's not a lot to talk about today. I know last week was booming and blessing, honey, but child, we're just going to get into this week. It wasn't a whole lot, a whole lot, of, but we're going to do with what we got. All right. We're going to get into y'all favorite part, and that is the shit. The sugar honey iced tea because you girls love staying in some shit. First of the sugar honey iced tea, we have John and Eric. Now this took me by surprise because never in a million years would I ever thought that this would happen. And it kind of hit home because I love John. You know what I'm saying? John is a supporter of mine. He follows me. He likes my stuff. I've spoke to him, you know, briefly here and there. So for this to happen, I'm like, Whoa, but let's get down with the get down. So these two are TikTok guys, but they're also really big in the OnlyFans community. 
Child left over there. Only fans on Mr. Money, but we got no Mr. Money. So, child, I guess this was a mission that was impossible, if you know what I mean. John and Eric allegedly were going to meet up with somebody. This is one of the stories I got. There's so many stories. There was a story saying that they went over and shot up some ops, and then there was this other story that I'm going to tell y'all now that kind of has more pieces, and it seems real. So, all this is allegedly. So, yeah. We're on the curve. They were going to meet up with this guy, and I guess it was supposed to be a sex deal, allegedly. And when they got there, they were allegedly trying to rob him. I guess things went wrong. They said they got the guys on camera in their car, whoop, 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 yada, yada, yada. So me using my mind, if this story is what happened, they go in there, set up the move, go to rob him, things get bad, I feel the guy tried to fight back, they end up fighting him back, and it became a murder that wasn't supposed to happen. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just went south. That's what I feel if the story that is on the internet is true. Um, so we're gonna just sit back and see how all this plays out. That is so sad. And like, man, you can take people out the hood, but you can't take the hood out of people. It's so many, like, OnlyFans, TikTokers, and whatever, that actually, mm, that hurt. That actually make good money. And for some reason, they still be doing wild shit. Now, just because they make money, good money, don't mean they managing their money correctly. But, oh, I, can you imagine? So, Joe was arrested first, and Eric was back at home. So, child, Eric goes on to his social media, and this is what he puts out for um, his people. What's up, y'all? It's Eric. I promise y'all an update. And here it is. So for the past couple of days in the media, I've been seeing like a lot of things about John and y'all are concerned about John. Is he okay? Has he harmed someone? Like, has he did anything to someone? No, he has not done anything to no one. Y'all know John. John will not harm a soul. He's the most free spirited, caring person that I know to myself. He loves me even more than I even love myself, you guys. So I just wanted to get on here and update it that John is okay. I am okay, you guys. I'm okay. Everything is good. My baby will be home soon. He has not harmed a soul, you guys. And I just wanted to clear the air. I just wanted to clear all the he say, she say, and everything like that. It's just making me mad, you guys. ENJ is okay, and we'll be back together and back posting very soon. I love y'all. Stay up. Now, y'all, after he said all that, it's my strange. How now he has been taken into custody and he oh, is locked up. Right. I'm like, ooh, this is really so I said, did John tell? John's like, I know you fucking lying. <laughs> Bet not at all. <laughs> we went together, we go What's down. What's that Twitter together. name, Taylor? John is singing like a hummingbird in there, and I went like, I'm singing too. Oh no, John, you coming with me. Like, oh, oh. And you think you finna go and you finna keep fucking, and I'm in, bitch, who? <laughs> I know you fucking lying. Round him up! Yeah. <laughs> So anyway, crazy. so people started sending me some more stuff and then I end up seeing this. Now, allegedly, this is the mother of Dakota who um son had got killed. Then there was this right here. I think it was on Facebook. The yeah, he been in Walker County, Georgia for killing my son. Premeditated murder. That was the death penalty. He's never coming back to Huntsville. Father of the son, Dakota, came out allegedly, and this is what he said. He was saying that he feels this was a premeditated murder, and he wants justice for his son. And what they did qualifies for the death penalty, and he hopes that John gets it, which I was like, oh, that's a bit harsh, but I get what he's saying because he lost his son. Right. And somebody took my child from me. I would want the same thing done to you, but... But how do they know that um, they the ones that did it? They got it on camera. We are not God. We can't, we can't play God. Sometimes being in jail is the worst punishment because, you know, some, like they be saying when you kill somebody, it's like that was too easy. Let you suffer and take your freedom away. So I don't know. This is crazy and this is tough because those two guys actually seem like really sweet people who just love to live life. And it feels like they made the wrong decision trying to do something that went south. So all parties I feel horrible for. And I just pray that everybody makes it through this situation. And uh, yeah, Ugh. Yeah, That's it's terrible, never that serious. Lie. That's to terrible. get money or to do whatever. It's never that serious. Just it. I'm not gonna lie. I have had the most peace not being around other people. Why are you doing this? I don't like that. Uh, 
I've had the most peace by not being around a bunch of extra people, not being outside, just, God, it's peace when you just be like, you know what, baby? <laughs> I'm going to mind the business that pays me, okay? And boy, I just, oh, it's such a better place. You know what I'm saying? What's for you is for you. Mm -mm. All right, child. Well, we're going to keep an eye on this story. If it ain't about me, let's keep it next Okay. Next to the Shigani iced tea, we have Ruby Rose and DDG. Now, Ruby, bring it down just a couple of notches, baby, because when you had DDG, you was playing with it like it was a scrap of meat. Uh, hello. So let's not do that. Now that you see that he over here happy and in love, you want to be like, oh, my favorite boyfriend was DDG. My favorite boyfriend of all time is none of these. These are all know. cheaters. No, I'm kidding. But no, my favorite. Give me a favorite. I can't even say because all my names I think now are with the bitch right now, so I don't want to. So you still can't say which one was your favorite? My favorite. Who, who okay, no, my favorite was probably my last boyfriend. His name was DDG, but okay. he was, you know, he. We just had our differences. What was his move? Yeah, you were like, take. Yeah, like, what's your what's your best date night with DDG of all time? No. Um. First of all, it's the damn interviewer. He just would do like crazy adventurous stuff. Where was that energy when you had him? You was over here frolicking with all the other niggas tiptoeing behind the scenes and doing what you was doing. But when you had him, Hello. you didn't want him. Oh, he get on my nerve. Oh, he do this. Oh, he do that. Girl, the hell he turned it up or not? He wasn't you hood enough for us. You know she got that life. Child, please, y'all think Hallie that Disney princess. <laughs> Hallie goes. Nah, Hallie and Chloe is not, well, Chloe might be a little different, but Holly ain't playing okay. Start to fuck up and turn some tables off. Now I get it, I understand. She was just answering the question, but what she could have left it at was all my exes is with somebody. But when you took it further than what she took it, it's like, hold on, Hallie, get behind me, bitch. I got this for you. <laughs> <laughs> get behind me, sis. For Let real. me tell you something. You know what I'm saying? When you had that for lifestyle real, when you take you places and doing that, you want to be messy boots, girl, and you still out here throwing your little booty on people's tabletops and stuff when you know COVID and monkey pox is around. So, I mean, girl, obviously he made the right decision. So, we're going to leave it at that. Hallie, you good, sis. Stay where you at. You ain't got to fight. The community got you. All okay. right. Well. But Ruby is fine. I know, Holly. <laughs> Holly was like, this bitch. <laughs> Don't even play with me. Believe you know, Holly love her some DDG, baby. They... They just mesh so well. Yeah, no, I'm just no, we team all beautiful women. If it ain't about all women, <laughs> if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping it. Okay. Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we have No Cap. Now, No Cap took to his Twitter and he had some things that he wanted to get off his chest. I actually fuck with athletes harder than I fuck with the industry. I'm just saying though. Athletes, stop choosing sides for rappers before you be not safe out here. And he very much <laughs> put the emphasis on the not safe out here. Now, if tell her on yourself as a person, it would be him. Because if anything was to happen, they would come looking at you. Some of y'all yeah. just don't be thinking. I don't know. Stupid as hell. It's like the rappers just. <laughs> anyway. Well, I think it's crazy. How you gonna tell people that they can't be friends with somebody? Now, I'm not saying get in the beef and stir the beef and you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, so and so, so and so stupid, or oh, I hope you get knocked off. If the athlete ain't saying that, and they have friends, people can have friends. I may get along with you, but I may not get along with you. I may get along with somebody who hang out with you, but I may not get along with this person. Like, people have friends just because they hang out with somebody you don't like. This sound like middle school shit. Stay out of Now, I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Maybe it's something going on. Somebody done said some slick shit. Somebody did something because I saw y'all talking about something. Because that be the shit right there. Y'all know I went through my shit. <laughs> It don't even be them. It be the shit from that one person. You trying to explain it to the other person and they ain't trying to see it. But you eventually going to find out, bitch. The fuck? But you know what? Go through it. Hello? You got it. Experience it yourself. <laughs> and then Raffles, what's his name? Morant. What's his, what's his name? The one that bought his dad in the house? Him and uh, what's the, the dude that's got a little gift from baby? Harden. Yeah, <laughs> Harden. They saying it's one of them three, him, Harden, and somebody else. Well, maybe whatever the case may be, if you ask me, some of these athletes are more hood than you rappers. They really get on the court and throw fists. Y'all want to go out here and shoot somebody. That, now, I understand that's two different lifestyles. I'm not trying to get shot, but I will go talk to 
But stay a civilian. Hello. Oh, and bust your ass in the face. Now, I call that more real and hard than pulling a gun. I can get my little five year old a gun and they can shoot you too. You know what I'm saying? A gun don't make you hard. A gun just makes shit easier. Period. But that's what y'all do. Y'all like killing each other, child. I mean, but we like to scream Black Lives Matter, but we want to end each other like the Black Lives Don't Matter. But hey, that's who am I to say? I ain't got nothing to do with it. What? Talking about you gonna end off one of your athletes just because they friends with somebody? And <laughs> that's just too far. So you just gonna kill a motherfucker because you don't want them to be friends, sir. <laughs> Listen, T take yourself out the situation, okay? Let them be friends. One thing I did learn from my last little situation is some people are just meant to be with others. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're not meant to kick it with you. <clears throat> if you don't have the same morals with a person or the same, like, law, if y'all don't abide by the same law, girl, let that person go anyway. When I tell you, it is so much peace in being around somebody who is the same as you, who function the same way you function, who understand you you know what i'm saying and when you have a person that don't and they understand the other party more girl opt out and go let them be with the other party you hear me i call that shit right there peace but trying to kill them are you fucking are you serious <laughs> no i'm not doing that Ooh, that's crazy uh, i like no cap though i listen to this but don't come for me i don't want nothing to do i ain't got no part okay. for nobody <laughs> Oh God, oh God, nah, oh real God, shit, Ryan. Like, you know what? I'm so fucking pissed that y'all together. I'm about to kill everybody. <laughs> like, wh what? Why? <laughs> Me, I'm a scream. Ah! He got it, God! He got it, God! I'm gonna make sure. Everybody, everybody know you coming after me. I'm screaming. Hell! <laughs> the dick, I think his act button was broke. I don't know, but I feel like if you that street and you trying to call somebody out not to be on somebody's side or whatever the case may be, if you that bad, put an act on it. Don't put no subliminal messages. Who you talking to? Because either I mean, way, that's 12. Whether you, whether you say the person name or not to even speak about the situation and literally indict yourself by saying niggas gonna come up missing basically okay sir y'all so hood y'all ready to kill somebody go to jail for it in your life and say fuck everything you might as well put the ad on it so you know you talking about them so they can know how to move and then y'all can have a fair one-on-one -on -one. they see you you see them y'all got the gun boom 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 and it's, it's, it's what That's it is it. girl Y'all so street, y'all ain't scared. Put a name on it. That's it. I don't know, I'm just saying. Cause I know when I wanna fight somebody, I'm gonna tell you, bitch, I'm coming for you. Okay, okay. I'm just put like subliminal message. I guess they don't want people in their business, but y'all, if it ain't about me. Child, I got, a, I got out of that social media talking shit. Cause I, I was one too, just talking on social media. No man, I'm so done with social media. I'm okay. <laughs> We're okay. <I> mean, <laughs> Let's geeky, let's go. Appreciate the motherfucker. Next question, like, I so, see we yes, have <laughs> Now, y'all were sending this in because I guess it was a stir up of what he had said on his Twitter. So, Emily Chopper had took his Twitter and he said, by nature, men are going to cheat. It is literally in our DNA. Bitch, what the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> so if I go to the doctor and I sit down at the doctor and I say, can you look in my DNA and tell if my child's going to be a cheater? They can find that. <laughs> or if I go and say, why do I cheat so much? They can look in my blood and say, oh, right here. This is why you cheat so much. <laughs> is that what you, it's in our DNA to, you know, the fuck what? <laughs> Men are here to procreate. It doesn't mean he don't I had to love leave you. Me alone too he's much. just doing what he's designed to do. So men were designed to just go around and fuck all these different women and just have babies by them. That's what y'all were designed to do, just to go fuck, 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 fuck. So no matter if the woman becomes emotionally attached to you or love you or desires only you, she's supposed to just understand it's meant for you to go fuck whoever you want to fuck, no matter what, because you're supposed to create life. 
sweetie, I don't think that's what they meant, sweetheart. I'm sorry, baby. That's not what they meant. A, a person who lived their life, did what they wanted to do, had multiple wives and all kind of shit, is Sir Bob Marley. Bob Marley was swapping them out like Gerald's. Do you hear me? They all had their own little, you know what I'm saying? They own little powwow together. Bitch, you up tonight? All right. I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Bob, <laughs> Bob Marley and had a wife. Okay. I think he ended up having multiple wives or he had a wife and just a bunch of girlfriends and shit, but girl, they all had an understanding. Ain't nobody doing that shit like Bob Marley. Not these young niggas. They so dumb. Like they, like they tell a woman like, "I came here to have children." <laughs> God brought me here to have kids. So it, 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 I'm supposed to use all of my semen for multiple women. So I could create the world and what the world is made of. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, what about the women that don't get pregnant? Hmm? What about the time you was shooting blanks? Hmm? What about the time that you just was smashing and probably didn't come? Cause that pussy wasn't even good to you, my boy. I just wonder, where are we taking tallies on when you didn't have a child? You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of women, they not fertile. Everybody ain't fertile. You know what I'm saying? You don't just know when a woman just get off her period unless she just really keeping up with it. And that's just how y'all, you know what I'm saying, do. But, sir. <laughs> what? I just, I'm here to create. Duh. With the woman you're with, you fucking dumbass. Let's let's hear him out. So he then goes and he says, "I use the word cheating because that's the word people are familiar with. But in actuality, people are in polygamy relationships without knowing. A true king is honest. That's where I stopped. <laughs> because baby, let me tell you something." Y'all want to call yourselves kings, but don't do king shit. Now, if a king is honest, why do y'all men sit out here in line and say, baby, you the only one you Hello. want to be with? Hell. Oh. If you honest, CJ, because I'm a king. King's supposed to be treated like king. Some shit he said the other day. You going to let me do what I, supposed to, what I want to do because that's what king's supposed to do anyway? But you got to go sneak on Snapchat. A fucking Instagram and cash app <laughs> a woman money for I guess shaking her ass. I don't know, playing with her pussy a little bit, whatever. Sir, that is so unking like. A king will say, baby, I'm going out. Don't ask me no questions. You already know what I'm doing. All right. I'll see you when I get back. I ain't gonna lie. That's some real nigga shit. That's what a real nigga would do. And a real bitch will be like, all right, <laughs> handy your business, playboy. Chris coming over. Now, all I'm saying is, <laughs> men are so damn <sighs> condescending. Just like, that's why I'm never, y'all be thinking I'm on a dude's side, but I've just accepted the fact that they ain't shit. None of them. I don't care who you are. Y'all, I've spoken to so many men. Y'all boyfriends that came to the bar talking to me, I'm minding all of my business. Let me get a motherfucking Johnny Walker. Yeah, give her two. What? Yeah, I mean, I'm just sitting here alone, you know what I'm saying? Then they're going to be like, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. What's up, bro? You you date women. I mean, I know their respect. Uh, would you like it if your woman did? <laughs> they done told me all the business. They, they got girlfriends on the side. They just left you, went and got some ass, and went back home to you. These niggas ain't shit, okay? Now, I ain't saying it's everybody, but y'all, 
Y'all got to be better than that. Why do y'all have to do that to make women feel like they're the only one, but then you go out and cheat and then want to turn and say, but no men are supposed to procreate. We're supposed Women need to have the right discernment with these cheating ass men. Royalty knew that man was cheating. We, how we know he cheating, but Royalty don't know. <laughs> Come on now. We're to do this. We're designed to do this. We're That's when I be on a woman's ass. Have yes, some damn discernment. life with your queen. You know what I'm saying? Now, everybody, I'm not saying anybody who wants to have two and three and four and five girlfriends or wives, I'm not saying you can't do that. If all of y'all have that understanding and she is okay sharing you with three or four other women, then by all means, that is what y'all do and that's what fits your home. But you can't go and tell another person how they're supposed to do their home. If my home is me and you and that is it, then that's our home. And we can procreate that way. We can have 10 children if we want to. As long as we can take and provide for those 10 children, then can't nobody tell us how many children we can have. And that's how you build your empire, your royalty, your foundation, and whatever else you want to do. As long as you can raise those kids up to be what you want them to be and guide them to be the best that they can be. Now, y'all can have all these fucking children and not even be in their life. And they just have children out on the wayside doing what the fuck they want to do, acting wild, running a muck like they do doing now, shooting each other at ages of 14 and 15 and 16 because they listen to all this hoop hop right. Music and, music. and idolizing people because their parents ain't motherfucking now. But Hello? because a man's supposed to procreate. Hello? Talk about it's it. Okay. Shut up. <laughs> a true king is honest and puts his woman in the position. You talking all this good shit. But I see so many men on Instagram talking about some, oh, she asking for this, she asking for that, and blah, 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 blah and she do. I want to be your provider. I want to say this for the baby mamas out there. Stop asking your baby daddy for shit. Stop. If every time you ask, baby daddy, can you get me, uh, get the kids some socks? What they need socks for. Baby daddy, can you, uh, get the kids some food for tomorrow? I thought they already ate. Uh, baby daddy, can you? Stop asking that bitch ass nigga for. If you got the money, buy it yourself. Stop. So he can bring it up. So he can treat you like you for. Because you asking for something that you know both of you, y'all kid need. But he don't get that because he a kid himself. But you go through that humiliation every time to dumb yourself down to say, can you get little uh little Chris some uh shoes, please? Buy the shoes. At the end of the day, them kids gonna know. <laughs> yeah, me. Them kids gonna know who was really buying shit. Cause see, they get older. They gonna know. Quit asking that bitch ass nigga for money. That's all I know. Doing this and what about for us and why can't we have Word, we good. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> and weren't you the same guy who was upset because you thought your girlfriend cheated? But ain't you that same nigga? <laughs> Let me hush. And provide for a village to accomplish one goal. We're brainwashed by our roots. Now, honey, um, I'm going back to my root and I'm looking back on my family tree. <laughs> and on my family tree, my granddaddy was with my grandmother monogamously, one on one, since they were in high school. And they had six children. So your granddaddy wasn't being monogamous. Stop playing with me. <laughs> Papa was a rolling stone. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, wherever he laid his hat. What? Whatever the temptation said. Damn granddaddy wasn't monogamous. They was the worst back in the day. And monogamy wasn't on the list. Love the family. Never cheated from my knowledge. <laughs> Baby. Never. He was a God-fearing man. His God children grew to be amazing. 
had great jobs. All his children got homes. They have children whose children are doing good, whose children are graduating from college. Now they having children and everybody got good jobs. I think they did a damn good job being monogamous, procreating with his wife, having six children who had a big family. I think they did an amazing job. And they were together for 70 something plus years, maybe 80 something plus years. And when she passed away due to breast cancer and things like that and having chemotherapy, he lived, a, I think maybe a year or two after her, and guess what? He died of a broken heart because he was in love with one woman because she was a queen I who did not that. cheat on her man and he did not cheat on his queen and made her- Now them women definitely wouldn't cheat. Feel love from the top of her head to the soles of her feet and made her feel like the woman that she is. So therefore she didn't have to go looking for no other man. He didn't have to go looking for no other woman. I worded it wrong. When I said men are supposed to cheat, let me clarify, when I say man, I mean a man, a provider, protector, and leader. Sweetie, let me tell you something. Hold on. A pro May have relations with multiple women most times, not just for sexual desires. Men are here to reproduce our ancestors built empires of polygamy. <laughs> Did that nigga say build empires off of polygamy? What? <laughs> what the fuck sex got to do with the empire state building? <laughs> what? And whatever woman he told that to, she was probably like, that was so deep. <laughs> Oh, I feel sorry for some of you women I ever. Provider, protector, and leader. <laughs> Sweetie, let me tell you something. <laughs> a woman can also be a provider. She can provide you love. Women are here to create, okay? Women are the ones that bring the life to the world. Don't they have the right to get some love dick on the side? <laughs> this shit is I'm telling y'all, a girl, he said this shit to a woman, I guarantee, but alleged. She was probably like, oh my God. <laughs> he said some deep shit to me. <laughs> she can provide yeah. you with insurance. She can also <laughs> provide you with money as well. Because guess what? Yo, Sometimes men not. get laid off on their job. But if you have Ooh, a woman who ain't doing shit. nothing, who can't back her man up when her man falls and what woman <laughs> is that she's supposed to be there to help you lift you back up you supposed to be there to help lift her back oh up y'all are supposed to be one a unity Ooh. in sync a woman can also lead you can't be a leader if you don't know how to let someone else lead as well hello that's what a leader do a leader knows how to also sit back in the shadows and watch somebody else handle it and then you step back up and lead so it's okay for y'all to both know how to leave, but the both of you know how to step back when it's time for somebody to say, you got it. Come on. And a leader may have relations with multiple women. Most times, not just for sexual desires. Well, sweetie, if that one woman can't give you love, encouragement, protection, motivation, if she can't give you all that, then sweetie, you need to just be single and do what you do. Just keep it real. There is a person out there for you that pos that possesses all of that. That's when y'all are both equally yoked. Dude, like I said, I can't tell people who they can and can't be with. Maybe there's somebody out there for you who's going to allow you to do those things. But what you do also must understand is when you lay down with people, energy is real. You may be sitting there wondering, why the hell am I stressed out? Why the hell am I so insecure? Why the hell am I worried? Why the hell am I depressed? Because you don't picked up those energies from somebody else because you don't lay down with them and now they are a part of you. Be careful who you lay with, but energies are real and you can pick up somebody else's energy and it can become you. Be careful who you lay with. Sex wasn't meant to be enjoyed. Oh, y'all, I used to be a little horn dog myself. I was just like a little dog with the pink thing out. No cap. Ooh, till I started feeling certain emotions.
Mm, realizing that these bitches want you to take care of them and take care of their kids and take care of their everything. And then you have a conversation with the bitch. She ain't talking about Nathaniel. Bitch don't give a damn if you die or not. She just want the money. You know what I'm saying? Just want the whatever you giving. Nah, these bitches ain't shit. And y'all, these niggas ain't. It ain't even worth it. I, I don't see how they just be out here. Like, I, you know, I, I'm cool with guys. So they'll just talk about how, you know, they just used to fuck on her, fuck on her, fuck on her. And I'll be like, nigga, you, you don't feel no type of way? No. And I don't mean feel no type of way like you want her. Fuck her. I'm talking about like, you don't feel tired after that? You know what I'm saying? You don't feel like drain after that you don't feel like like i mean what was that even for you know what i'm saying like oh i just when you get older you know i mean it's older guys out here doing things but i don't know i'm a woman so i just ugh, it's ah joy and pleasurable <laughs> okay. it's supposed to be enjoyed and present with the person that you are in love with if you want a hoe just say that our <laughs> ancestors built empires off polygamy see y'all see y'all pick and choose what y'all want to believe what? because didn't in the bible it say about adultery do what's best for you sweetie that's why there's stds viruses and things like that because y'all want to go sleep and hoop holler with everybody else that's why there's so many kids out here running amok because y'all just want to feel as though you're supposed to reproduce too much and work whatever can that's what i'm saying ryan it's too much work i'm about to go get up with that bitch tonight oh where y'all going such and such and such i know she gonna want me to buy blah 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 you get there, you think the bitch ordering off the off the uh happy hour menu, girl. She done, she order in nineteen forty two. So you done spent the bag. She don't want to fuck. <laughs> she don't want to fuck. She already got dick lined up. <laughs> she wasn't doing it to fuck you, okay? Some they get lucky, but most you ain't fucking. <laughs> like that's just a lot with that. Mm -mm. Case may be when you're not trying to raise them correctly, baby. Hush. <laughs> if it ain't about me, cut off his D. Next case. But well, that's all I have for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. All right, y'all. So we're going to go ahead and go to part two. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe to this channel as well. This is the main channel. I've still been trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Um, but right now, we're just putting reactions on this bitch until I get a videographer and they go follow me everywhere I go. <laughs> All right, though. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.